Hello everyone, this is Ron. Welcome to another Devil May Cry Pick of Combat video. And today we have some special news for you that you can already see. But first of all, Ramadan Mubarak to you if you are celebrating. And it is about 4 p.m. in the evening. So I would uh, just love to be a little bit silent and talk less. But boy, look at this. Look at this who has arrived in the game once again. Eternal Judgment Virgil. He was the first character who started the game for all of us and after a long long time after many many banners later he has once again he is going to arrive and he is going to be available in the banner that means you will be able to summon him using your gems so this is a great news for us and especially for me i'm a big fan i'm a very very big fan of virgil and especially this eternal judgment of virgil on the first banner i was able to get him and in this banner i am willing to get another copy of him maybe 50 sh 50 more shards so i can level him up to double s rank i cannot tell you that how much happy i am i have been waiting for him patiently all these months guys i haven't spent one single gem i haven't spent one single gem after getting him because i knew that this character at some point he is going to be uh, reappearing in the game in the banner and so we don't have to spend 100 dollars to get him we can spend our f2p james and we can develop him we can level him up in a free way this is so amazing guys and it remains to be seen that uh, what type of banner they are going to add who is going to be the other characters because we all know that there is no guarantee in this game there is always a 50 50 chance so it's always always so scary my friends it's always so scary to summon in this game but guess what this is virgil and i'm going to take all the risk i'm going to simply take all the risk and it will be all in for virgil once again and the reason why i didn't make any pool in any other banners first of all this game actually doesn't really provide too much gems and i'll show you the gems whenever i'm going to pull for this character you will see that even after skipping all the banners i skipped all the banners after virgil i only pulled on the very first banner and i know all the techniques to farm the gems but still you'll see that i haven't really uh, you know saved up not too much i mean yes of course i can probably go two pities but guess what there is always a 50 50 chance and you might lose two pities i mean that's not impossible if you if you if you if you if you have a 50 percent chance to lose one pity you always have the 50 percent chance to lose the second pity too there is also also always possible and for that reason i couldn't summon in any banner because i knew that even if i summon i might lose the gacha and even if i win the gacha i will get a character s ranked and i cannot upgrade him there is no mechanism in this game that will allow you to upgrade these fighters for free of course the game or certain events will give you some shards but probably you guys already saw that these shards are not really too much helpful you cannot really go from s to double s or to triple s you will get some shards and that's all so that's the reason why i didn't pull in any banner and i think this is going to be my strategy for a long time that to invest in one particular character and gradually develop him up to actually you know get something really fruitful but otherwise if you if you keep pulling on each and every banner and if you keep spreading your gems you are not going to get a very strong unit whatsoever and i totally hope that they are going to buff this character a little bit because he is kind of a little bit outdated for sure and it would be amazing to see some attack buffs at least some more damages i mean we do deserve it right now a couple of things i would like to say that definitely this character has been a little bit outdated to be honest because it's a gacha game and the new characters are going to be all the time the new characters are going to be stronger than the previous one recently we had another version of virgil there is the uh, count count version of virgil also we had a couple of uh, a version of v we had a couple of version of uh, lady i guess we don't really have any strong version of dante so far uh, only only one version of dante is very strong however i do believe that this character still has a very strong uh, potentiality to become one of the best characters in the game why 
because most of us are actually using this character at level 1 that means the normal S rank we couldn't even able to make him double S or triple S so now it's time for us to actually invest some resources and you know unlock a lot of lot of features now what uh, shall I do about this character that I already have said that I will be all in for this character I'm definitely going to pull one PT if I get him once I think that would be enough if it doesn't work I will do second time I'll do two PTs if needed but I want him as double S now if you are not a big fan of Virgil then then that 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 can be a big question for you because we have seen leaks of uh, the Agni version of Dante we have seen the gameplays we have seen leaked information probably he is going to appear after this banner that's a big probability guys and this is why uh, Vir Virgil has arrived in this game as a bait banner so without any doubt the upcoming Dante is going to be uh, probably more damage dealing than this Virgil or V or any other characters and that's why this this banner I would say this banner is a bait banner this banner is a bait banner for most people who are regularly summoning but for die hard Virgil banner this is the real banner guys to be honest so I, I believe you have already seen the gameplays of Agni Agni version of Dante and there is also another version of lady who is coming with a lot of lot of, lot of fireworks and I'll be honest with you guys the gameplay that I saw of Dante didn't really satisfy me too much I know I know probably that's that that's not that's not the final version of the gameplay that's not the final uh, appearance or the final styles but to be honest I am not really too much impressed with whatever I saw I'll be honest with you and that's why I decided uh, I was previously you know thinking about saving up for Dante because I have Virgil I have all the other characters but I don't really have any stronger version of Dante Dante so it is kind of logical for me to wait for Dante and that was my plan but we never knew wh when this bait banner is coming I never knew that I never saw this coming but I was secretly you know waiting for both of these banners that my my gems were well, well, a certain part of my gems are definitely dedicated towards Virgil and my plan is to save up gradually and level him up gradually he will be reappearing again and again guys because without any doubt he is the most anticipated and most desirable character in this Devil May Cry franchise period so these developers are going to use him to maximize their profit gaining which is all right which is all right each and every game would do that each and every game would use their top damage dealer or most popular character as as a way or as a weapon to churn out money from money from the you know, player base which is all right I don't have any problem with that whether we are going to pay or not or whether we are going to wait patiently that's totally up to us I could have made him double S or triple S by sending a couple of uh, spending a couple of hundred dollars that could have been also possible but you know I decided to go F2P way in this game and I don't really have any problem with that but by the way I am also supporting the game always I am buying the monthly mm, monthly passes and I am I'm, I'm doing my job in supporting the game so let me know in the comments that what you think about Virgil and what is your plan about him and what is your actual James standing let me know and I'm really curious to see that how they are going to introduce this banner and who is going to be the another character I'm very very interested about it and I'm also interested about the weapon banner and I, I, I totally hope that the game would bring some sort of feature some sort of mechanisms in that way so we can upgrade this character at least a little bit in a free way so I'm looking forward to the free uh, uh, you know shards that we'll be getting but I'm not really sure how much they are going to add because in the first banner if you remember that there was no such mechanism so any, anyways guys I'll be definitely waiting and pulling for this banner I'm going to sh uh, do a live stream probably in the pools I'll, uh, I'll show you and thank you so much for watching don't forget to support the content support the channel and i hope to see you guys soon in some other videos till then stay awesome and peace out my friends